What is going on, guys? Mizan Monkey, welcome back to another video today. Yes, I got that right this time. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Extreme Rules 2016, all things that happened, Seth Rollins return, which, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so Extreme Rules started off pretty amazing. I like the show. There was two matches that came out most of me, but hey, um. So I guess I'd start with the pre-show. Pre-show had Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. No disqualification match. And I got this one right because I predicted Baron Corbin to win. To win. Um, and he did. He did a low blow to Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler was like, ah, it's the end of the world. And then he hit the end of days. And yeah, Baron Corbin won. There's not much about that. Nothing much about that to say. They put it on like later in the pre-show, so it was a really short match. And, um, uh, sorry, I'm kinda sick. Um, uh, let's talk about the main event first right now. So the main event was Chris, or not Chris, Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE Championship. And, uh, this match was pretty awesome because, um, you got, like, a bunch of spots after spots and stuff, um, and, um, you had, um, AJ Styles got put through the announce table, like, twice. There was, like, three announce tables and got put through two of them. One was freaking awesome. AJ Styles was like running at him from off the barricade. And Roman was just like, nope. And he backdropped and he went like eight feet in the air and just crashed on through. The other one, it was a bit delayed. He threw him on the table and it, he bounced off of it. Then it broke. It was a bit delayed, but nonetheless, um, the ending was so predictable. Uh, AJ Styles was going for a phenomenal forearm and Roman Reigns hit his fear. But then. Right as everyone was in hope, Roman Reigns was celebrating. Seth Rollins comes He's out and he pedigrees Roman Reigns and he right holds up the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He and I woke everybody up when that happened. It was like 11 o'clock at night and I was still watching this and I was like, yeah! Okay, let's get on back to the show. United States Championship match. I think I got this one wrong. Rusev ended up picking it up. This match was actually kind of really bad. It it was just the whole match was all around Kalisto having a back problem, and Rusev just like threw Kalisto on the apron, and that must have hurt his back pretty bad. And then he put him in the accolade. And he stretched him a lot, so Kalisto tapped with like before he even got the accolade in. And Rusev is the new United States champion. I'm not sure if Kalisto was hurt, like, for real, or not, just like, taking it, but, nonetheless, Rusev is still your United States Championship, champion, now we have the New Day versus the VOD villains, this match was, um, I didn't really watch it, uh, I just, I was in the bathroom, to be honest. I was in the bathroom, then I just heard, um, here's your winners and still Tag Team Champions a New Day. Alright, alright. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. Um, this is what makes him one of the best not my the fault. Uh, oh, I forgot about the very first match. We had, um, the club taking on the Usos in a tornado no disqualification match, which was actually pretty good. We had the Usos. Um, one of the Usos jumped off to do an Uso splash, but he landed straight on a ring bell. And then they picked him up, like, put him on his shoulders. There was just a like, twirly twirl city. And then one, two, three. And the club picked up the win, which was pretty good. I predicted that one. I got that one right. Um, now, the Ambrose Asylum. There was some really funny parts in this, uh... We had, up on the ring, we had Nunchucks, which was really funny. Uh, you had Mitch the Plant, which they didn't use Mitch for some reason. 
to do this. And barbed wire bats and etc. etc. Chris Jericho was calling everyone an idiot. It was that was really funny. And um uh, Ambrose who beat Jericho up with a mop and then was like mopping him up. That was so funny. I was laughing so hard at that. And then when uh Chris Jericho said to the referee, You're gonna get it, idiot. That made me laugh so hard. But in the end, um, Thumbtacks came out, and uh, Chris Jericho went for the um, codebreaker, but Ambrose was like, nope, and he dumped him right on the Thumbtacks and then dirty deeds him, and that was over for that. Um, and the last match was the match for the women's championship. This match was pretty disappointing. Italia versus Charlotte, Charlotte Defense Women's Championship. This one was pretty disappointing. For the match that goes on right before the main event, this was really disappointing. We had a submission match, so they would have to tap. And there was the almost the whole match was literally just Natalia being put in a submission hold, or Charlotte being put in a submission hold. Wait, no, it was mostly Natalia. And it was like, no, nah. and then Natalia blocks in the sharpshooter, and then Ric Flair comes out, but it's actually Dana Brooke, and then Natalia wasn't looking. And then Charlotte puts in the figure eight, and then she's like, ah, I have to do that. That was pretty disappointing. Uh, I, wanna, I want you guys to tell me what you guys thought of the show. I thought it was pretty good, but then when Seth came out, that was just amazing. So, I'm the Zom Monkey. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and goodbye.